For eight months they'd planned this trip, but 62 members of the same extended family from Cambridge were told their flight from Heathrow had been cancelled. And after a long, frustrating day, the much-anticipated holiday had to be abandoned. We can't get that one today, so we tried for tomorrow. Can't get that one either, so we have to cancel the whole flight now. Yeah, so whole tour, it's not just a flight, so we have to cancel everything. Someone had to tell the children, instead of Rome, they were going home instead. We were excited and our hopes were shattered. There were hundreds of sad stories like that. As thunderstorms here and across Europe, followed by technical problems with British air traffic control equipment, resulted in cancelled flights and frayed tempers. Every place to stop, oh, go there, no, go there, go there, and nothing happens. By mid-afternoon, some of the air traffic control issues had been resolved. But travel experts say the timing of these problems on the busiest day of the year meant the impact would still be considerable. A combination of thunderstorms and air traffic control problems is going to be awful at any time, but this is about the worst weekend ever. There are going to be tens of thousands of people waking up tomorrow morning where they really don't want to be because their flights have been cancelled. The railways have been suffering a heatwave hangover with some disruption again today though hundreds of engineers have been working to repair buckled rails and damaged cables to restore the normal timetable. Yesterday, it was rail travellers receiving an apology. Today, it's air passengers, like the family from Trinidad, celebrating grandma's 70th birthday in a Heathrow cafe when they should have been in Italy. Paul Davis, News at 10.